Izzle is back. We are back with another recording. I'm just making sure they, they get stuck sometimes when I come back from uh, restarting uh, my game. Uh, so here we are, yes. Uh, playing Lego Fortnite. Uh, I know it's been a while since we were posting Diablo videos. Uh, stopped playing that. Went on to other games. Didn't record. Uh, IRL kind of took over. Um, did not have time to record. I have some time now. It actually, is my, this is my son's suggestion for me to, um, to record and post this. Uh, we've been playing... I actually, he played this with his friends. He's been playing... B, he plays BR mostly. He's been playing ranked BR. Um, he does occasionally come in here because um, he's on Xbox. He'll come in my PC and play the uh, Festival Main Stage. Um, he does pretty well on that, so it's fun watching him play that. But here I am. This is what I've been playing for the most part. This and ro uh, Rocket Racing. I'm currently ranked uh, Platinum on Rocket Racing. I've not had much time on it as I do because I play Lego more. But that's where I am at with Rocket Racing. That is a lot of fun and challenging. I've been enjoying that. Uh, but I've been enjoy enjoying this way heck of a lot more. i got to eat really quick. Some food in us. We get that. You are hungry message. So here we are. Uh, I've started a survival world, and then uh, after I realized, actually, I was in, like I said, I'm enjoying myself. Realized what more we could do with this, and still need to figure out uh, what more we can do with this. Um, I started another world, and uh, I wanted to find an area with some good views, like this. Some trees. We had more trees here. They're gone, and I'll explain why here shortly. Um, the campfire going in the cave. We had a starter cave for us, which is really good. Um, I do plan on doing more. Like I said, I've been playing this a lot and probably will keep playing it. I'm looking forward to see what more they come out with with this. Um, I have not created a village square in the snow biome. The desert biome is actually that direction, kind of behind us. And um, I have not built a village square in either of those, so I don't know what more material we could use. Um, I was not a fan of the starter shacks. Uh, they're good in the beginning, obviously, but I uh, wanted to get rid of them really quick, um, and that's why we are we are here, and I'm sharing you sharing with you what I have so far. I've built these pergolas, so I'm not sure if there's pergolas available within the other uh, stuff that becomes available once you build the village squares in those biomes. Um, have some seating in here. I built a few of these. You'll see in a minute. Um, I have one over there by a juice bar area. Uh, this is Beef Boss's area. You can see he's here now. He used to be over on the other side. I've made some changes uh, throughout my playtime, and um, we moved his whole station over here. He um, he took a it took a little bit for him to get used to uh, coming in this way. And once I moved his bed, um, he been over here. We built this bigger. This was a little bit smaller over there. It was two sections. I kind of made it into one, like one giant barbecue area. Um, kind of jealous. I wish I had a barbecue area like this <laughs> in my house, <laughs> but I don't. Uh, but uh, yeah, he's been doing really well now. Now that we moved his bed, uh, we got, got juices going. We got some fried eggs and some steaks for us and some corn. Got some pies going up here. And uh, some bread and some pizzas. Uh, burgers, I've either found or made those. Um, and some bread. I don't know if I said that already. Forgive me if I cut out. Um been a while since i recorded so I, I always find myself to lean back when i record and i get away from the mic so i apologize for that in advance but yeah so here we are this is beat boss's area um i built these like i said i wanted to get rid of the um the starter shacks um i was building this for storage i was messing around with what we can do uh this little cover area put six chests in there of the of the starter ones of the small ones the larger chest you can only fit um five you can only put one in the middle because they're too big but it still works you got for us, buddy. What he has for us, really quick. Yeah, see, look at this. He does really well now. Ever since we have this whole setup for us now. Um, so this is his. Um, I built these little log cabins. As you know, they they struggle going out in and out of the doors. I don't know if that's by design. If that's something they're gonna fix. Uh, so with that being said, I went ahead and made these log cabins. I wanted to make like like tent type type areas, but um, Obviously, there's no tents, so but the log cabins work because, again, it fits in. Um, I like this open concept. I like how it works out. I like how I'm able to uh, build these cabinets on the bottom, make it look like a little work work area, like a desk, and then the bed goes in uh, fairly nicely. So, yeah, I'll, I'll get more than dual purpose of this type of uh, this setup that I had built. We'll see in a, in a few seconds or in a minute and a few seconds, T. You got more to show. 
Uh, so here we are. I built this. I just built this crop area right here. Uh, wasn't sure what to do with this space, so we put the corn and wheat in. Uh, I actually like it. Build this out area really well. There wasn't much going on other than the view of the trees, um, so you kind of can see through that. And when you're sitting at the uh, juice bar, they do come over here. Beef boss does come make juice. That's why I have so much juice over there. As you saw too, he just gave us a bunch. Um, so it's kind of nice. See how the crops are growing in there, and then you can see through there and you see the trees in the background. It gives that nice depth of field. Uh, they do occasionally come sit over here while he's working. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, I have a few campfires spread out. Um, I didn't want to get all the um, all the lighting based off the campfires. You'll see right there on the bridge I built. We have some lighting going. I do have some more stuff to do. Um, you'll see in some 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 areas where I got some more flowers and stuff to plant here. I haven't done yet. Uh, this is what the what. Uh, the bigger bigger of the lodges that I've been using. This is my main crafting area. I have my bed there. I haven't done much anything else with it other than just put the bed in there in case I die and have, I respawn at least back here in the village. Um, enchantment area, the crafting. I do use some of the storage uh, as well. The cabin is in there. This is going to be main more main storage here. I'm going to build a larger chest once I start uh, farming again. I haven't been farming. Uh, once I beat all the brute bosses, I just kind of been uh, chilling and, and working out the uh, base area. So here's some of the material. These are going to stay here. Some of the materials uh, I've been gathering. Uh, the loom. I have the loom up here. I have the spinning wheel and then the uh, gem cutter. Again, trying to make it look like my little workshop. Um, I do have one of the workers on here. I really wish you can put the workers into certain things rather than constantly uh, getting every, a little bit of everything. Like sometimes I'm getting stuff I don't need. So I actually stopped... Uh, one of the one of the workers from doing that for now i'll put them back on it once i start um using the material more so that yeah that's this area here that's what i'm using this particular structure for right now back out so here's again the dual purpose of uh these little storage i built them originally as storage sheds for supplies but then they fits really well the machines all the machines fit in here pretty decently i was about ready to rain hopefully it's not lightning uh but yeah, you can put in the uh, cabinets behind it and kind of make it look like built-ins or workshops. Uh, so that's kind of what I did with this space right here. I put the remaining machines that I don't have in that over here. And you can see the large chest. I can only fit five instead of the six because they're too big. Unless I unless I expanded this somehow. Um, I have not messed with it anymore. And I'm okay with what's there anyway. So it kind of looks good. Uh, and then, yeah, we're getting to over Exco back. I, I built this bridge. I don't know if there's any bridges that you can build once I build the village squares and those other biomes. But I did come up with this. It is uh, usable. You can go across it as well as you can uh, go under it. Occasionally, my head gets stuck under it. I don't know why, but it does. Because the other bridge, I have one more bridge. It's higher. I use the same pieces, but the, the actual bridge is somewhat higher. Uh, so I don't get stuck. Again, this pergola here, this little light gives uh, enough enough light to sit down in here, as well as I put another one over there. I have one more on the other side that I have not finished uh, quite decorating just yet with lights and stuff. I built the crafting bench for them if I have to have them uh, do some work for me. Another storage chest. Uh, Beef Boss, remember I told you he was over here with them. Uh, we moved him over there, and it's working out great. And the rest of them are over here. This is their nice little campfire area with all their own sleeping quarters and this turned out really well i'm glad i went this direction with these uh, miniature log cabins uh, their beds get that built-in look with a desk in there and I, this one's decorated to, to the to the t pretty much how i want it right bomber um this is uh, spark plugs we got silas over here and then hayseed hayseeds is decorated I got, he's working on uh <laughs> what i was his, his version of lego ghost peppers i guess <laughs> uh his little potted plants and some grill lamps and that's what he's he's working on uh unfortunately like i said they don't go through the doors very well so i did build a bathroom for them but yeah, they don't go in it that's that uh this is the other area i like this view over here uh both in building another bridge like i said there's the other pergola i don't have the lamp on it yet i still got some fencing to put in uh, i don't know what i want to do with this space right here uh hopefully uh, you can come up with some suggestions I don't want to ruin this view, but we can't see it now because it's raining. Um, but yeah, it looks nice at night. I put the campfires in recently. Uh, when it gets dark, uh, they were spawning. The skeletons were spawning in this area right here. 
But ever since I put the campfires in, they seem to stay out a little bit better. More when it's not raining. See, right now it is raining, they'll come in here. Oh, that sheep just got messed up. When it's not raining, they, they will rarely come in this area. They stay past, past the line all the way around. I have another campfire over here. Uh, there were trees. Like I said, there were a bunch of trees here. Some of them got damaged from when I was messing around. Seeing with one of the do when you deconstruct, it hits the tree and it damages it. There was a giant tree right here, though. And it covered the branches, covered all of this. It just looked really nice. And uh, lightning storm came. It hit the tree. The tree blew up. Spark plug went flying all the way over here. And uh, so I needed to come up with something to do with this space right here. Uh, so I built Lonely Lodge. And I turned it into a village hall. This is pretty much... Uh, where we come have our uh, our Lego our Lego meetings. They'll come running and we'll discuss uh, what's next. Who wants the who wants the project, right? Let's wait and see if they come. Yes, yes, meeting of the minds right here. Oh, some are stuck. Uh, but you can see I put in some lighting. I wanted to do not just like candles everywhere. There are candles behind this, but I wanted to make it. Um, have it look like it has, it's giving it like some depth feel, right? So the candles behind that looks pretty cool with the structures that are there. Put some lighting up there so it's kind of glowing the uh, archways and stuff. It's pretty cool. For the pitch of the roof, not the archways. But yeah, this is where we're at. Like I said, I just wanted to um, share this. Uh, again, my son suggested it because it's what I've been doing. I've been chilling, enjoying Lego. Uh, what else have I been playing? I said Rocket, Rocket Racing. Uh, currently playing Avatar as well. Um, that's where I'm at. Uh, mostly here. It's like I said, I still got some fencing to put in and some other stuff. Other ideas. Like I said, I have more to what I want to do out here. But if there's anything you see, suggest that, uh, may, that I may need to go out and build those village squares and try to implement into here, let me know. Let me know in the comments. Uh, let me know if you're interested in seeing more because, like I said, I'm going to keep playing this uh, for sure. Uh, I'm really enjoying this. A lot. I'm looking forward to see what they uh, what they come up with, what more they bring to Lego Fortnite. Uh, hopefully they do bring more, and uh, we'll see where it goes.